my environment has been a work in progress, just like the rest of my work in the studio. The house, the gardens, everything. So it's been really great to see the place evolve and change over this time. The one thing I could say that's always been consistent in my work is the body, usually the female body, is present. And most of the themes are about transformation, so the body is transforming in different ways, expressing how we're different beings and we're connected to not just nature, but human-made environments and architecture. You know, our skeletons are like our own architecture. I, I work two-dimensionally as well, but sculpture is my true love. I get into intense surface detail. I want to touch it, and I hope that other people want to touch it, which is a great thing also about a public sculpture that's cast in bronze, is that it can take that. I am a sensualist. I use the female form. These are natural and basic impulses and instincts within me. I want to create images of female bodies that we may not always see in our culture, that are strong. The idea of a body that is part architecture, it's like this monumental figure that's like a building or that's part animal. I want positive, strong female images out there. Scale is really important in sculpture, but in that one sculpture, Nest Builder, I really played with it. It's six feet high, which is a human size scale. So when you meet the sculpture, it's like perhaps meeting another person. The whole thing has a spiraling feeling to it. And the bottom has life-size bits of architecture and tools like picket fences, brickwork. And then as you start going up, the elements start getting smaller and smaller. And by the time you get up to the bird woman at the top, they're more miniature. They're little tools and little hands. And her hair is part architecture. And then out of the top of her head is sprouting this little temple. What I try to do in public art when I have the opportunity is trying to create a space where something unusual and out of the ordinary could happen in a very ordinary place. There is something powerful about taking a hunk of clay, which is basically mud, it's the earth, and you're being like a god in a way, and you're, you can create a body or a landscape out of just some mud. But it's also a struggle, which is another thing I enjoy. When you're in the studio creating, it's, um, you learn a lot and it gives you insight into the rest of your life as well. You have this relationship with the material because all materials have their own characteristics and you have to work with it, you know, you can't force it.